Hello, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robots. In this video, I am going to talk about a new function that I created uh, called Article Builder. Uh, Article Builder is not my product, but they have an API that I can integrate with. Basically, Article Builder is a product by Jonathan Leisure, and it's a means to get articles um, from his system, basically. So it's uh, kind of like uh, he's applied his best spinner at a sentence, paragraph, and individual word levels. And um, I'm really, really paraphrasing his site here. What I do recommend is, is going to his website, and I'll tell you how to get there in a sec. But basically, Article Builder is a way to get articles into Article Marketing Robot, and it's very effective. So over in the uh, Step 2 Create Article tab, there is a sub-tab called Article Builder. And all you have to do is click that. And if you already have a username and password, you would enter it into the username and password box and then click refresh. And that would load up the API with your um, you know, remaining daily queries. Uh, in order to get Article Builder, you just click this little blue link here and that'll take you through to the Article Builder website. And that's really, really simple to do. So, and this help link is actually going to be the link to this video that you're watching now. So anyways, um, I'll just uh, go, go over the uh, go over creating a, an article with Article Builder. There's actually a couple ways to do it. Um, you select a category, you select the number of words you want in your article, uh, you select the number of articles, and you can spin text them together or not, and select your resource profile. So, to begin, in my in my niche, I'm usually affiliate marketing or article marketing. Article marketing seems to work uh, well because uh, you know if I want to promote Article Marketing Robot, that's what I would use. Is an article marketing category. Uh, you have a uh, minimum word count, so I like to pick 700 because that's a pretty good average word count. You can pick whatever you want. Uh, how, how many articles do I want? Uh, in this case, I'm just going to click 10. All right. And now, resource profile. I'm not going to go over what a resource profile is uh, in this video because I have another video uh, either in my YouTube account or somewhere on my website probably in the video section that explains what resource profiles are. So in this, for this purpose, I'll, I've already created a resource box. I'm going to select it. And then from here, I'm going to generate. Now, one thing I'm going to note is I have not ticked the spin text them together box because I'll do, I'll do a second example right after I finish this one. So I'll just click generate. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's uh, retrieving articles. It, it takes a few minutes to do. So now, as you can see, the uh, articles were created. I'll just cancel out of that and go into the actual current articles. And you can see that there are now a bunch of articles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten articles that were created using the Article Builder system. So that just gave me ten articles. Now you can either take this content and submit it, or you can do whatever you want with it. You know, um, it's totally up to you. Um, so that's pretty much how that works, but I'm going to show you the second way to use Article Builder. So all you got to do now is it, it, remember every time you go into this tab, it, it reloads itself. So your your uh, your category and your minimum words and everything gets reset. And I've screwed up a couple times by creating acne articles by accident. So keep that in mind. Uh, so I'll just go into Article Marketing again. Uh, minimum words 800. I'm going to get another 10 articles, but this time I'm going to spin text them together. And I'm going to use the same resource box. So let's just generate. And once again, give it a few minutes. Retrieving articles. Oops, I selected nine articles. So I spin texted nine articles together. Now, what you'll see here is the, the actual content, title, and summary are all spin texted together. So what that means is if I preview the article, and I'll just kind of show you here. Uh, there's uh, one version of the article. And if I preview it again, there is a different, completely different version of the article. I do it again, a completely different version of the article. So if you wanted to, and it's completely readable, which is awesome. So uh, where am I going here? So if you wanted to, you know, create 100 articles and have one standard resource box, you can submit basically completely unique readable content all at once 
without having too much duplicate issues going on. And that's uh, that's the Article Builder API. It's it's really cool. I really suggest watching uh, the uh, resource box video um, because this resource box that you're seeing right here is not a very good example of what a re resource box is. And the other resource box video tells you how you can manage and, and edit your resource boxes. So that is the Article Builder video. Um, it's a really cool tool. I, I this product usually is sold out most of the time because you know it's pretty popular plus uh, you can't have people leeching from the same article d database all the time and you know when he opens up uh, when he opens up the membership generally he's probably added more resources uh, meaning more articles so that you know basically content is more unique over time so anyways yeah that's the video I suggest uh, hitting the website and you know watching John Ledger's video, checking out the sales page, whatever, and um, maybe signing up for his what do you call it? You know the sold out notifier. That way, at least you'll have a chance to get back in the next time it comes on for sale. Okay, um, thanks for watching the video. That is Article Builder.